Hello, and welcome to Bear Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm a intuitive card reader and a visionary as well. And I'm here this evening to do the general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo, the Ram. And this is for the week of the 17th through to the 23rd of September. All right, so let's get your shuffle in. Spirit guides, master, the universe, master, the universe. Please bring us forth any messages for the sign of Virgo for this general weekly reading for the week of September 17th through to the 23rd. You guys are the first ones. Happy birthday, Virgos. By the way, happy, 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 happy birthday. My sister's birthday today. One of my sisters. I had three sisters, but I had, um, I had three, and one was on September 14th, and she passed away relatively young, and, um, my other sister was two days apart from hers, two years and two days, and it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Kimmy. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. There we go. These are your cards. Three card spread. There we go. All right. These are a light, light, light tint. You can't notice it. They're just a barely there pink tint, and it takes the glare off the screen for me. My eyes suffer terribly. But anyway, it's really good to be back doing the readings um, for the weeklies. Anyway, I just feel like I've been like not even here and gone for a long, long time. So I had to double check everything. Oh my goodness, Two of Cups, Partnerships. It's a nice card. It's a great card. Ah, Five of Pentacles, Abandonment. That can be applied to a lot of different things in life, not to worry. Aha. The sun and happiness. Okay. Oh, let's dive in. Let's go, shall we? Let's roll. Very first card to a cup's partnerships, commonly also referred to as the happily ever after card. In relationships, yes, of course, right off the get-go, but also in um in other ways, happily ever after, I'm hearing for the subtle settlement of disagreements, um, bad feelings put to the side, all is being forgiven. I just heard every dog has its day. That's what just came to me. Um, I don't question it. It might mean something for somebody out there. Uh, even when they, they don't have to make sense to me, but they do have to make sense to you to apply to you. And while we're talking about applying to you, this is a general reading for anybody that's new. This reading may or may not resonate with you in any way at all. And you may get bits and pieces from it. It depends. But you know what? I always say, come back in a week's time. This is also for sun sign, a Virgo as well. Check out your moon sign and your rising sign um, with the other videos as well. Because sometimes they mean a little bit more to you and give you a bigger, clearer picture as well on what's going on and in that case you may find some things resonating with you um, but it is general it's not going to apply to everybody but romance is highlighted relationships are highlighted partnerships are highlighted off of this card um, this can be you know um, as I said with with really personal in your own private life or on the job as well 
on a job romance hell why not but it could be partnerships through through the job through your job and work this card also brings rewarding experiences that's that's the juice of life um, experience when you're experiencing things going through things you're living and 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 it really is the juice that either will turn you one way or another in the run of the day you could be in a really great fantastic frame of mind or you could be at the other scale of that as well um, but anybody going through experiences it really is it's the gasoline experiences are 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 very very rich things in your life they are the things that get your motor running hence the metaphor for gasoline but in other ways it is I say it's rich because it's lessons learned with experience comes lessons the two are one and the same or they go hand in hand at the very least and some of you may be experiencing some experiences lessons learned walking a new trail I'm hearing one foot in, one foot tentatively tentatively in front of the other bit of uh, caution and hesitation you're still moving forward for some of you but there are I won't say shy steps taken footsteps taken but hesitant wary not frightening but wary of you know will this scare me the anticipation and the apprehension of going into something brand new for some of you that's what this card is um, referring to as well the card would agree with me on this point put it that way and um, these are going to be very good experiences pretty much across the board um, a rewarding the card uses the word rewarding experiences broadening your horizons and boy you know that's 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 your wheels and I don't know why I'm using you know vehicle metaphors but um, that's that's um to broaden your horizons it's like that gives you the reason to move that car we'll put it that way which is you forward never backward never going in reverse only moving forward and um, heading out to unknown lands and the reason being is because you become in, in that respect of living your daily life and, and looking into your future a little more open-minded to life itself and um, you've opened you've opened your and broadened your horizons you're like I, I'm, I'm more open than I ever was I feel more comfortable being more spontaneous and more curious curious curiosity is almost like the key it's it's what turns everything on when you your curiosity becomes first it's your attention and your attention gets drawn to something or pulled into something um, or you're giving attention to something and then the next thing you know it's something new if it's something new I should say then the curiosity kicks in and that it really is the key that turns the motor over that gets it all running um, but without the gasoline and all the rest of it right you're going nowhere fast um, it's just a pretty vehicle but it isn't gonna look good for anything you might say um, I'm sorry if I talk in metaphors and even say the word metaphor an awful lot metaphor 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 I'm just being silly um, but but the reason being it, it's it's just a way to explain where this is all coming from and, and what needs to come out and what's need, needs to be said while I'm I'm seeing things I, I get pictures and then I hear that that silent voice the little one um, and then it all comes together metaphors seem to be the best way to get the message across um, completely is what I'm looking for um, so yes um, this is a time for the rest of you to start nurturing your interest see where your curiosity is going to take you to see where it's going to lead oh my gosh and when this card shows up it's not bad in any way it's not negative in any any, any there's no negative connotation here at all um, this is good for you to follow your 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 uh, your curiosity and leave yourself open a little bit more open-minded to the unexpected and um, sometimes the unexpected can really jar us in the best of ways it doesn't have to be anything bad or negative 
um, for the rest of you that are looking and searching, speaking of searching and, 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 and whatnot, for those of you that are on a spiritual path and you're just beginning that path and you're looking for some kind of a, um, um, a teacher of sorts, a mentor, um, always remember I'm here to think for yourself and to use your own common sense. You know, I don't care if the Dalai Lama himself that you're talking one-on-one -on -one with. Yes, there's so much wisdom there that we gain from everybody, not just him. It doesn't have to be somebody famous or well-known. There's, there's, there's a lot of quiet um, mentors and heroes out there that never utter a word. And we can learn so much from other people if they're like-minded. That's key. And some of you are looking for that. Heck, come into my group, Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook. That's what we're all about in there. You know, I learn things new every single day because I'm open to them. Nobody tries to twist anybody else's perspective. That shouldn't be going on anyway. Nobody should be trying to change your belief or change your mind on things that you were pretty solid on. Um, none of that should ever go on. Um, you have to always, that's really strong for some of you. Don't be so darn easily led. That's annoying to me, people that are, you can so easily plant an idea in their heads. There's a lot of people out there like that. Um, because people are looking, because they're afraid of their own actions and their own decisions. And there's, there's this sense of maybe not believing in yourself enough. But now's the time. Snap to it and wake up. Start believing in yourself. And if you feel it in your gut that something feels so right, go with that. And if somebody else comes along and says, hey, hold on there, you know, you're going in the wrong direction. Um, and what your, your, you know, your thoughts and your beliefs are, are not on the right track. Now you sit and you listen to me. Um, yes, leave yourself open to other people because sometimes there's really good advice. It's wise advice, but you still have to make your own moves. Walk under your own steam, carry your own cross and make your own decisions, but use your common sense. Don't be easily led by anybody. Think for yourself that's coming across. But those of you that are looking for inspiration, you're going to find the inspiration that you need. Some people are catching their second wind in life, we might say. For those of you that are a little, a, a little bit, um, a little older, say, a little younger than me, maybe same age as me. No, I'm not telling you how old I am. I get beeswax. I'm making a point. <laughs> but the thing is, is you just have to stand on your own two grounds, your own your own two feet on the ground. Um, and inspirations, I just got tongue tied because inspiration, trying to formulate more than one thought at a time, see and look what happened. But inspiration, you're going to find that you're going to catch your second win. Those of you that may be a little bored in your life, it's all good. You're, you'll find the things to inspire you, but make a conscious. You know, the thing about tarot, just because the card says so, or some intuitive person like myself comes forth and blah, 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 blah. You know, don't wait for everything to come to you. Don't wait for everything to happen to you. You happen to life, all right? And you make life happen. Don't sit back and say, well, you know, that card said this and that and the other thing. But what did you do on your end? You still have to carry through on your end. And some things that are really written in stone, hard, cold stone, and and I do believe there are certain um, areas in our life that destiny has a hard play on. And sometimes, and I'm sure a lot of you can agree with this, is a lot of times you try to change something, and, and no matter what you do, it can't be changed. It's it, it, You keep going full circle and coming back to the same thing. Um, Jeez, this is this is one hell of a yakky card. I tell you, there's a lot coming off this card. Shut up! I got other cards to read. Um, anyways, the advice of this card. So we're coming into home stretch here. Look for others to share your visions with. Don't be shy, and work for with others for greater results. Yeah, you know, if you're like me, and and if you had a choice, you'd be alone more than not then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And not just because I'm saying I can relate to it, but there's nothing wrong with people that consider themselves 
lone wolves, you might say, you know, or you're walking the path alone and you'd rather be alone. It's your choice to be alone most of the time. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just being uh, um, nudged to put that out there for you. Your keywords with this card are partnership, creativity, communication. Um, planning is going to come into play. Education as well. But the big word is is the happily ever after. Finishing up on some things, uh, starting something new, and you know you're going to be into this for a long, long time to come. It's your happily ever after. Whatever that is for you and inspiration. Inspiration is, you know, you can, here I go again, you can make a pot of soup. You throw in all your vegetables, right? Your carrots, your turnip, potatoes, maybe even some meat. But until you add some spice, all right, yeah, it's nutritious, but it's kind of flat. It's not inspiring. That's my point. Just had to get that out there in my crazy head. Five of Pentacles, abandonment. Again, who bango, right off. It's connected to this card. I always, um, before the camera even gets turned on, I have a ritual here that I go through. And um, I always ask that the cards overshadow and overlay each other so that the whole week is, is connected like a bridge or links in a chain. You might say they're all connected. They're all one. These two are playing off each other big time. I said about finishing things up. I no sooner said it. Here's the card. All right. And when I said abandonment, it doesn't have to be a terrible, devastating thing. Sometimes we abandon things. We abandon people. We abandon the situations. It's not about all us being left alone all the time. Um, but for somebody out there, and right off the get-go, off the top of this card, poverty, isolation, fear, these things that we all dread. Um, and some of us will never ever face. It's just a fear. That's what's going on here. Right off the top with this card. It's an illusion. Sometimes people become a little obsessive. They can be sitting in the Taj Mahal or someplace that's like that. They can have the, the world never have to worry about a bill, never have to worry about attaining food, um, your needs met, your wants met. Oh, we're killing the wants. But some people have it all, and they're surrounded by love. And it's like, for some people, if something isn't going wrong in your life, then nothing's right, because you're so used to it. You're so used to that stress and that pressure. But some people have it all, um, and those that come from nowhere and get to the Taj Mahal by hard work and endurance, um, some people, because they lived in the isolation and the poverty, and the, the fear, they just walked through it. They lived it. They breathed it. It was their life. Now they're out of it. That fear never seems to really go away. You've already had a taste of poverty. You've experienced that. And that's what this message is meant for somebody out there, all right? And here you have it all, but you can't seem to really, really, really settle into it completely, into that lifestyle. There's always going to be something off a little bit. That fear of the unknown. We all live within fear of the unknown. Sometimes, well, all the time. If things got, yeah, they could, it could be. Um, but my point is, is you can take that tiny little flicker of fear of the unknown because you hear people having it all and then losing it all. That's what you're riding on, is that fear. And here's the thing. Um... You don't need to be in that place. You need to be more in the now instead of fearing something that doesn't exist, something that hasn't been given birth to. It's it's all up here. And and you need to let go. You need you need to abandon the bad things in your life. That's a negative thing. So you need to abandon that. But like I say, some people can have it all. And they still live in that fear of the unknown, fear of poverty, and fear of isolation. We all fear that. We're like wolves. Humans are like wolves. We're pack animals, you know, um, and, 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 and we're, we aren't alone. Even if we are alone, we're not really, really alone. 
um, we're surrounded by humanity. Those of us that choose to live in it, um, some don't, believe it or not. They choose the isolation, and I mean baby isolation. I just watched a whole two seasons of the series on, it was called Below Zero. Some of you may be familiar with it on Netflix, and it just blew me away. The isolation and that, and, and I was kind of hungry. I'm like, I, I don't care. That all looked very, very scary and difficult, but a part of me still wants to be like that, living, you know, 294 miles above the Arctic Circle, and there's nobody around you for like 350 miles. And you might see humanity, a plane, you know, come in maybe once every six months bringing you supplies or whatever. But even it's just the way it is. I'm not going to go on and on and on about that. Um, but here's the thing. The card is stressing for those of you living under that fear. It is not your reality. You need to do a reality check. Stop fearing things that don't exist. You know, if you're not careful, you could end up manifesting something. So you got to be careful what you think, what you feel, what you put your passion behind. That's coming to the forefront as well. Distance um, yourself. Um, no, some of you are distancing as far as the card is concerned. So this is tarot. Distancing yourself um, due to self-doubt. Uh, people don't like to be humiliated, ashamed, made to feel stupid, so they'll pull back because they're unsure about something. They don't know about something. They feel they don't measure up in the status quo. There's self-doubt there. I don't measure up. I've got four or five friends, and they're all making, you know, X amount of dollars every week, and they're living in a nice home. They got a nice car, and they got, a, and I'm just living in a little shack off off to the side somewhere, and I got to take the bus wherever I go, and I, I, you know, I really love these people. You maybe you grow up with them. We're just using, you know, an example, um, and the self doubt creeps in, you know, um, trying to fit in where you already fit in. Oh, shut up. days by Cracky one of these days it's 11 bells there we go um some of you are just ending have just ended a relationship so this is tarot as well and you some of you may be feeling quite alone at the end of that relationship and that is an adjustment that's a huge adjustment adjustment for a lot of people um there's also financial change that comes with breakups as well so says Tarot one more time. The advice of this card, you have support, but you are looking in the wrong places. So go somewhere different and find support. And financial changes that, that breakups bring as well are being highlighted off of this card. These are adjustments you need to make. These are the things that hold relationships together in the very last days of a relationship. It is the fear, again, of isolation, of poverty, fear of the unknown your financial status or class can change overnight at the end of a relationship a whole lifestyle change can take place and we're, we're all afraid of that um, you got to have one heck of an attitude to get through all those changes with a genuine smile um, and say I'm all right this is an adventure to me and some people do have an, a really a really really healthy attitude in that way they do um, and nothing seems to really bring them down. They, they just suck it up and they move on and they say, no, everything's an adventure, even the stuff that hurts. I wish I could think that way. I bet a lot of you are the same way. Keywords, isolation, rejection, bias, fear, risk, relationships, and the fear of money problems for some, but you need to chill out. Now, the last card, excuse me, I think I deserve just a little sip of tea. Thanks, Michelle. Oh. This is the Virgo video. Suzanne Cerrone. Thank you. I have it close by. Not to worry. Not to worry. That's an antique beach glass. And it's probably of 100 plus years old. It's beautiful. Sent to me by a friend, Suzanne, and the cup from Michelle. That's a little cup of tea. The last card in your reading, this is a bit of a long reading for a week, I'm sorry. I've been away for a while. I'm unbottling. I said that the other night in another video for the group. I'm unbottling. It's all coming out of me because I feel like I've been holding that or I've lost my way a little bit um, this week. But I'm back. The sun. Oh, my. It's a beautiful card to have, my people. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. 
happiness. Everything was wonderful. And just look at this. See the rays coming down, cutting through the water, sending gifts of love, protection, gratitude to these mer children. I always laugh and I always say that. I always laugh when I see this card, but I get a kick out of it because you can see the boy, the body language, he's ready to bolt at any second because there's that doubt, you see? The doubt, the fear of the unknown. There, There's the body language that shows the fear of the unknown, but look at her. She's the other personality. She's you got you got personality A and personality B here. And she's she's just ready to receive those gifts. She's wide open to them. And um oh yeah, there's no hesitation. Even the curl of her tail tail is balancing her. She's holding her ground. Look at the difference in her tails. It's all body language. I love these cards. Love them. Um this card always brings um, joy and positivity comes right off this card. It predicts happiness, well-deserved relaxation from a lot of stress. Aren't you the lucky one? <coughs> and for some reason, I just thought of Hurricane Irma. And this card could be when it, when it says relaxation from stress, the anticipation of that storm, the damage from the storm. A lot of you still may be recovering from that and may be for a long, long, long time because this reading will reach right around the globe. And um, there will be people that survived Irma. There will be heroes and heroines. Um, and yes, there were, there were lives lost and so much damage done. But for some of you, this is now a time to relax after the stress. This is time to catch your breath. Pressures are going to come to an end. Some of you have been through a lot of pressures. This could apply to other things, not just Hurricane Irma. Um, but pressures can come to an end for some of you. Not can, are. They are coming to an end for some of you. For the rest, it's been everyday grind. The everyday, the everyday um, grind, grinding um, wheel that we find ourselves on to get through every day can become stressful, even if it's something good. Um, but it's time now, in even the smallest ways, to relax, to let things go, to let your hair down, to take a deep breath and say, all right, this is my time. And it's going to come very easily for you as well. Very, very, very easily as well. Not to fear. You won't have to try very hard is what I'm hearing. Um... There's going to be time spent with children or children are coming to the forefront. So says Tarot um, in one form or another, where some of you are just finding your inner child. That's where you have to take the doubt out. If, and, and you know what? If you're out and you're doing whatever it is you're doing is making you feel young and beautiful and vibrant. When all these beautiful things are going on, what doubt, what fear? It just floats off. Because you're finding your inner child, there's a bit of a, um, I don't know if it's safe to say an innocence, an energy of innocence that comes in. Maybe it is. For those of you that are able to, leave all that grown-up stuff to the uh, wayside for a while. Put it away and put it on lockdown. And just allow yourself to be you. Allow yourself to be curious as we already covered, and um, leave yourself open as long as it's fun. Make sure you're having fun for those of you that this is going to apply. And, I, you know, I'm feeling there's quite a few of you out there as well. I am definitely, most definitely feeling that very, very strongly. This is a great, great card. Um, do what you want that brings fulfillment to you. This card can also predict holidays, trips, finding peace and contentment. The trips, um, what I heard because it floated right over, was last-minute trips. I'm hearing spontaneity, um, excitement, and some giggling going on because more than one person, it's like two people, have come together and thought, let's just do it. Let's just go. There'll never be a better time. We've got the time right now. We've got the money right now. We've got the resources we need. Let's just go. Why don't we just live a little? 
Let's just do it. Let's do it. And you know why? You do. And you'll gain a lot from this experience. It'll be, it, it'll just be the most lighthearted time with no stress, easy going, not needing to have an alarm clock go off, not needing to check, take your watches off, 86 of them. And, and, and just go through your days. You know, if you want to get up at 3 a.m. and, and uh, have scrambled eggs, then do that. If you want to have coffee, have, have it at 3 a.m. Just live as if every day was maybe your last. Because you know why? Newsflash. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Something for somebody to think about. That's food for thought. Are hearing too much, too many restrictions have gone on in your life. Whoever this message is for, I just heard that. But finding peace and contentment and inspiration, let your creative pursuits come to the forefront as well. You may end up turning your attention to hobbies, and those hobbies will flourish. Oof. There's a whole lot that could be said right there, but no, I'm not going to. The advice is appreciate your deserved success your special time of rest. And I'm feeling more that for everybody, not everybody, but a lot of you. A special time of rest, a lot of you are going to get it. That's a beautiful thing. I'm feeling beautiful off this card. I'm feeling beauty. And you can come up with all the beautiful descriptive words you want and they would all slide right into this card. That's how I'm feeling for you guys. So, um, Enjoy feeling safe. That's so important. And appreciate the harmony that is around you. That's beautiful. Keywords are growth and children, protection, holiday, success. That's such a beautiful word. It can't be taken in any other way. Contentment. And that, dear Virgo, was your birthday reading. I would say birthday reading. I didn't plan that. That came out. Maybe some of you are going to be feeling that way. I hope you liked this reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you felt inspiration. Maybe some peace. The big thing, I hope you felt the hope. And I hope the hope takes you down a road when things you start to actually see and manifest those things as well. We have a new moon as well. We are speaking about this earlier coming up on the, yeah, this is my calendar, the 21st. So just to give you guys a heads up, um, you know, I'm even going to, a lot of people say full moon, but I'm going to put all my gems and my crystals and my quartz out on the night of the new moon. I'm going to ask myself between now and then as well, what is it that I would like to clear out so I could make room for newer things? Um, and what new things do I wish to start or implement? That would be the time to begin them. Or put your intentions out that night. If you can't actually manifest what it is, put your intentions out to the universe on the night of the new moon. Anything at all will help. So, um, if you haven't joined the channel yet, please do. I would really, really love that. And while you're at it, you could join um, me in Bay of Funny Fortunes on Facebook. And I'm doing this as if it's right there. It's not stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I always do that. I don't know why off to the side. Maybe because the windows, eh? So, yeah, okay. Um, but uh, it's a closed private group. It's full of people just like me, I guess you might say. Um, and everybody, we learn so much in there. This is a special group of people. Um, I'm not easily impressed with anything in life. Uh, I always, I don't know, I've always been that way. Um, you know, singer, so what? You can carry carry a note. No, really sing and blow me away. Writers, come on, if you can write, blow me away. Take me away. Carry me out of here. But this group is a is a great group of people. They're so supportive. They're so positive. They deal in re the real life as well, though. They have their feet planted firmly on the ground. It's not a room full of flakes. We have men and women in there as well. But it's closed and it's private. And it's a great place to be. You're more than welcome to join us in there. Um, also, Bay of Fundy Fortunes can not only be found on Facebook and here on YouTube, it can be found Twitter, Google, and Blogspot as well. And if you were interested, 
um, in a private reading is something that is just specific for you and only you. I do offer the service. The information for that is found down below this video window in the show more section. Uh, please read through there once and grab my email there that you see that I use for everything. Um, I think that's about it for now. Yep, I do. It should be 35, 36 minutes in. That's a bit long. I don't mind doing them. I hate the wait for the upload. This is going to take almost, well, about three, well, close to three hours. Anyways, so this reader is going to sign off and I'm going to slide into the next sign. And I hope you guys have a really great week. I hope you're, you're, you're moving through September without too many bumps in the road. Things are moving along swimmingly for you. I wish you all the very, very best. And if you're ever looking for me, you can find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes or walking on the beach along the water's edge that hold the mightiest tides in the whole world, the beautiful and bountiful Bay of Funday. And I'm always sitting and I'm always watching and waiting, watching the tides slide in and slide out. So therefore, if you're looking for me and I'm not here, you can always catch me waiting on the next high tide. Thanks for being here, guys, and wishing you the best. Peace in as always.